And we're back for some more Viking era raiding of Lindisfarne and all that. Get it! Welcome back, fellow long boaters and seafarers and explorers and raiders and all that. Are you crazy here for some more Danish dynamite or Viking Age exploration or whatever the bloody heck it is these days? Whew! It's a brand new day and yesterday we played loads and loads and loads of football. So actually, let's go through some of them. Now, we last saw each other at the amazing 4-3 four, <laughs> four, extravaganza versus Kiev, which was... All right, we followed up by a, with a 4-2 win over Sheffield United. Okay, at least we scored a goal, right? Antwerp was pretty easy, but we rotated a little bit. Crystal Palace, shockingly, we actually beat them, even though they are my bogey team. Uh, we beat Wolfsburg as well, a decent, good, uh, good, good, good performance, but nothing to write home about. We beat West Ham somehow. pierre Emil Halbia, of course, got sent off. Red cards are a bit of a thing here, and it's always the same weird tackle. Is he's proper trying to, to, to kill the opposition, which is never good. Uh, I guess it is the Viking blood or something. Um, I'm not sure. We then got wrecked by Brighton. Yeah, Brighton are also one of my bogey teams. I just hate it. Sometimes it just goes wrong. And yeah, they, they, they proper smashed us. We had nothing in the game. They outplayed us. Uh, Wolfsburg was also a loss. Uh, the away match. Um, pretty even game. We just, yeah, we, we couldn't score goals. So um, I don't know. We follow that up though with a, well, a 1 1 away to Leicester. It's a very even game, but we could have scored many more. And like, ah, I was a bit worried here that we're getting into a bit of a rough season, a rough patch of the season. But luckily, we did pull it back versus Kiev in the home match, winning 1 0. And um, so today, we're going to play a slightly, hopefully, easy match in the Premier League. And then we're going to finish off the group in the Euro Europa League, which, I mean, we're already qualified, but of course, we want to finish first and then see. Um, see if we can get a good good tie in the first round of the knockouts. So um, yeah, let's delve into it. In the league, we are currently seventh, which isn't too bad considering our schedule, right? And we even have a match on some of the teams, so we could potentially go to, I guess, the fifth or sixth or whatever, um, depending on the goal difference, right? <clears throat> so it's not going too bad. We definitely don't have any goal scorers up there because, well, we don't score many goals, which is kind of sad. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's just click here. Goals. Uh, where are we? Yusuf Paulson is our top goal scorer with five goals. I guess it's not too bad, but yeah. I mean, Bamford is scoring eight goals, and yeah. He, 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 I mean, he's clearly worse than Yusuf Paulson, right? Which is shocking. The team really is coming along, which is very positive. Like, I'm starting to learn which players are best and uh, like who's in form and all that. I mean, basically, they're all crap, but then suddenly plays well here and there, but... For instance, players like Andreas Paulsen, our new left back, he really, um, with Dumizi injured, he really took his chance. And like in the league, he has 7.18 average rating and Eurocup 7.2. So he has really like earned his spot now and now actually keeps out Mr. Dumizi. And it's just nice to finally start to learn a little bit about the players. And frankly, what I have learned is that we are pretty crap. Um, we are not very good. Our players are... Mm, so I'm already thinking... Uh, maybe it's time to start pulling up some of our youngsters because we do have them in there uh, to just start developing them because yeah, frankly I'm not overly impressed with some of the players we have. The problem I have is that because we're on the old database play a player like Darami who is amazing in the new winter update is not really there yet. He has potential but he's not quite there yet so I'm a bit hesitant with him. Other than that though there's Nicolas Narte who's you know, a bit of a talent here and uh, five-star potential, maybe. But yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely think I'm gonna pull him up soon and then give him some game time because he just looks pretty impressive. Um, other than that, it's mm, a bit like it's not too overly impressive. There is one, of course, down here, Mister Wahid Fagir, beautiful Danish name, which I'm, I'm definitely gonna give a give a chance to at some point because. Frankly, our goals, our strikers don't score goals, which is yeah a problem. But we have so many of them. That's also the problem. Our squad is so kind of big with kind of dead boot and <laughs> kind of this guy as well, Philip Bungo. I mean, he looks very talented, right? But we we have 
many players up there and i'm not even sure what he should play here um but yeah tell me in the comments and loads of interest in him even for big teams it must mean he has loads of potential which is good but yeah i will only go to the tactic screen and the first thing you should notice is that apparently andreas christensen and simon Kea have played fairly poorly when players and it's not a good partnership I mean, they are our only partnership. They are the ones who plays all the time, basically. And apparently they're bad. I mean, we're seventh in the league. Can't be that bad. But a bit scary, I guess. But we're going to stick with them for now because they are literally our best players, right? And then Paulson on the left now, um, who has now earned his spot. Uh, Daniel Vass is a, a little bit injured, so Joachim Mele will play this one, which should be fine. He's a, he's a decent option. Uh, mm, I mean, work rate, good crossing and stuff, like, but... Yeah. Other than that, I mean, Javier Delaney, then Eriksen, Scope, one thousand, and Josef Poulsen up front. Uh, hopefully score a few goals here and there. See, Brun, uh, Brun Larsen has actually scored quite a few, which is, which is lovely, but yeah, we need more. We need a lot more. Uh, let's hope for the best and get into the match. Right, and off we go. Now, we are apparently favourites for the game, at, at least apparently, to, according to my team talk or whatever, but as we <laughs> got close already. Okay, we're going to then build from the back, but we've been really, really hit in the beginning. I mean, the Europa League has really wrecked our fitness, which I guess is to be expected, right, when you play matches so bloody often. And then a few injuries here and there, not nothing too serious, at least, like, well, except for boilers, and, but that's to be expected. Um, and then, you know, suspensions all the time because we keep getting bloody red cards, which is also a bit of a hindrance. So as Delaney goes close, it's been a bit difficult to find a bit of a rhythm here in the beginning, but let's hope we can build into it. Goal kick is gonna maybe end up with a Fulham attack? I don't know. They're passing it around neatly at least. Uh, but are we gonna win the ball here? Salvio. Sounds very exotic. Not a player I'm familiar with, but maybe... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a bit worrying. We're not really have, uh, having a foothold on this. I mean, I guess the stats are showing that we are, but yeah. I mean, it's Michael again. Are you taking the <sighs> I mean, let's see that again. That was... Okay, so read to to Mr... I don't know. Mitrovic onto Loftus-Cheek. Salvio. And there he is. I mean, come on, Smeichel. I can't believe it. You have such a good goalkeeper and he's just playing like rubbish. Honestly. I mean, what and what do you do? Do you put Jonas Lussel on? He's even worse. Right. Well, this is bloody... <sighs> Show a bit of desire. You're able to make the difference, even though uh, that's almost too... God damn it. We can play a lot better than this, and we apparently have, but where are the highlights to show it? We've had 11 shots. Come on then, let's claw our way back. One last one takes it away. Paulson to skull, and that is just horrible. Okay, is it planned though, Paulson? We're gonna get a cross in. Paul Larsen, yes! Yes, apparently our heading extraordinaire, Mr. Paul Larsen. With his, I assume that's his well, seventh goal of the season, did it say? So that was a terrible shot. I'm glad he got blocked because it would have gone horribly wide, right? Paulson then to Mele, who gets the assist then there. Yeah, just raises highest from Mr. Brun Larsen over Tete. Which is good. I mean, we're back in it. Come on. Maybe another chance here. Okay. Let's, let's play some wonderful football. Ericsson. Delaney is up there on a yellow. Well, they're always on yellows, it seems. Uh, Brun Larsen is a nice. Boon Larsen is really carrying us. Yeah, that that's I guess what you get when your strikers are terrible, but yeah. You need someone to step up. I really was hoping it would be Ericsson, but yeah, I don't know. It's as if the AMC role really isn't working that much in this game. Boon Larsen, yeah, nice goal. Right, well I was gonna make a change, but let's see this free kick first. Ericsson, come on then. You can do it. Oof. Areola with a uh, well, he saved it at least. Okay, Delaney's knackered. Let's get Mr. Billing on. Deep line playmaker on defend. Paulson is actually also knackered. So let's just get Dumisi on. Nice and easy. Don't want any injuries and stuff. And we definitely don't want to conceal. Oh, the highlight continues actually. Let's see if it's going to amount to anything. Of course not because it's a corner. Go! Come on! Don't be like that. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. Right, well, 80 minutes gone and nothing is really happening. Uh, Ericsson is having a... Oh, he's having an Ericsson game, but... So is Skull, and he made that mistake. I saw it. So let's put Braithwaite, but as a supportive winger, 
because I mean we don't have to go too ham and as of course as soon as I change that now they're gonna have a chance right and they're just gonna run down and score because looking at the stats I would be fair except no Polson is in I mean he doesn't score goals let's just I mean it was on target at least we can we can appreciate that right and of course the corner is not gonna amount to anything well hopefully not a bloody counter to them that would be silly as they are actually just racing forward, Mr. Reed. Is he gonna off billing? <laughs> Decent defending, but that clearance was shocking. He should have just oh, okay, never mind. Okay, Fulham is now on the attack. Can we please not just go oh, Paulson? Yeah, just nice hold up play at least. Don't lose it here. Okay. Well, Paulson, I I'm not hopeful. <laughs> uh yeah. And another corner highlight. Well, it keeps going, but we're never we're never gonna get a goal from it. We all know that. So great wait. Just don't lose it from there, please. Oh, Bulasen! Of course he can score. Ooh, almost gets his hat trick there. Good save from Ariola though. Okay, Fulham changed to a four-one-two-three. That's uh, that's a bit aggro. So I guess they are chasing it now. Come on! Oh, great wait. Okay, again, don't lose it here. To end the highlight. Yes, thank you. Focus. Okay, I'm scared. There's so many highlights. Oh, Philip Billing with a goal. Nice header and a good assist from Ericsson. Whew. Okay, I'm a little more calm now, but yeah, just a great cross from Ericsson there. And then Billing rises highest. And yeah, 3 1. Whew. Okay, no funny business. No injuries, no red cards. Ooh. Does make the game a lot easier when you don't get a red card. Yeah, I'm very. Happy with the result now how you played. I am indeed. Right, well, on to the next one. Now it's some Europa League action. Boom! Right, we are ready for the next one. It is Antwerp away. So, let's go on a raid to Belgium because, well, why not? And, uh, yeah, we're doing a little bit of a rotation today. I mean, of course, the group is like, uh, it's already won. Well, it's not won. We're already through, but we need to win the group, right? Uh, but we also need to, well, do some rotation because why not? Uh, Mr. Daniel Lass is back because, well, Mele is not, <laughs> he's not registered uh, for the Europa League. So, mm -hmm. then we're going to have Joachim Anderson partner up with Dan uh, Mr. Simon Kier this time. Uh, Paulson remains on left back. Then we're going to have Billing as the box to box and Delaney still as the ball winner. We're going to have Braithwaite on the right, Ericsson in the middle, Fischer on the left, and then Dolbe up front. So, let's see how we do because, mm, I mean, you should be able to win this one even away and. Antwerp, the bottom of the, of the bloody league. By league, of course, I mean uh, the bottom of the group. Uh, so I'm going to do some team talk. I'm going to pump some fist because Vikings love that. And yeah, oh, I remember this. They're playing a very defensive formation. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, we're in the blue this time. Well, black and blue. Just nice colors there, let's see. Yes. Antwerp is randomly bar saying it up. Uh, Vandenberg to Jensen. Not Jensen would be super Danish, but Jensen, which is a bit more German. Yeah, you can see the formation here. I'm playing a 3 4 2 1, I guess. This is a very defensive. But also leaves loads of space in the middle, which I guess. Does that count as exploiting the middle? I mean, uh, a goal from a corner, that's unexpected. But Ericsson with the cross, and then Allison. Boom! Pokes it in there. Nicely done. Nice and easy, lads. And yeah, we are now still top of the group. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. I was a bit worried there. That's Lukaku. Uh, it's not the Lukaku, but his brother. I think they're brothers. Jordan Lukaku. Yeah, and we're just coming forward, I guess. It's Dylan. That's definitely how they spell Dylan. From Beverly Hills, 90 whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, another corner. Are we going to make it two? Yeah, Anderson again. Oh, my lord. A he heading specialist. The Royal Antwerp. I have a friend of mine that is Royal Antwerp fan. Maybe I should tag him in the video so he can come watch it. Mr. Raskolnikov. The one and only. Okay, are we going to make it three here? That's with a good cross. Billing. Uh, Delaney. Don't lose it here. Loss, please. Oh, good little pass from Twix and then to Fischer. That was some nice little football there. We do love that sometimes, at least. Them kind of in the pockets, kind of 
Manchester City esque, uh, Barcelona esque, you know, which is really nice to see. I mean, Delaney should be dizzy there from all the spinning he just did, but yeah, it counts. Good goal from Fisher. Of course, Fisher is a bit of a, a bit of a talent as well, but well, I guess he's twenty six now actually. <laughs> but yeah, but sadly he was just injured in the first bit of the season, right? So he never really got to play that much. Uh, but no, I'm trying. And then Boone Larsen now is like, well, my star player, so. Well, I am trying to get him some game time here and there because he is a pretty darn good player. Uh, or can be. Delaney now. We win the ball back. Ericsson with a long ball to Dolberg. Is he going to score? Ooh, nice little. What's it even called when you wrote, go around and a triple? <laughs> nice first touch is what I was trying to say. Yeah, English is not always easy for me to speak. Delaney? Is he going to shoot? Oh, he is. Dealing. Dolberg. Pen? Nah, didn't look like a pen, but yeah. Paulson with a throw in. Feeling now, get that over to the right. There's loads of space over there, but now we stick it, keep it on the left. Okay, that was a bit hopeful, but yeah, we keep the ball. I mean, look how defensive they're playing. Ericsson, ooh, Ericsson with a goal. That is very rare. I mean, as you see, third goal of the season. <laughs> as he's doing the, oh my lord, he's very excited. But yeah, Ericsson is just, I don't know, he's not really performing how I would expect him to. Ericsson, yeah, just a great finish. To be fair, like, it's Ericsson and Schmeichel, the two top performers, I would expect, that have been a bit underwhelming. I mean, Schmeichel more so, but, uh, I mean, Ericsson does get a few assists and stuff here and there, so. But, yeah, it's the two stars that are really a bit underwhelming. Okay, Fisher, is he going to cross it in? Ericsson again. Okay. Ah, this thing is tickling my nose. Okay, Braithwa! Brave Dino! Ah, just brave wait for now. Just brave wait. Calm down. Calm down. Don't get the reference. It's my Barcelona save. The Barca boys. Uh, go and watch that as well. I mean, we're going to make it six? Okay, they want the chance now. I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, okay. I'm not as hurt in this one, but yeah. Let's see that one again. Smigel didn't have a chance. Let's see. Did he not have a chance? It said he didn't have a chance. I think he did have a chance. But, I mean, this is some easy football from them. But then he... I mean, what is that? <laughs> you have arms. It's inside the box. You could have just picked it up. But no. And then it said he didn't have a chance on the following shot. Which I... Okay, fine. But, yeah. Um, yeah, you might be winning, but it can still change. Oh, they don't seem to like that. Then we're going to say I'm happy with your performance. See? Now I've cheered them up again, so... No funny business. You're doing well, but yeah, keep trying. That was a very, very hopeful ball from Ericsson, and now Dierx has the ball. Michael actually makes a save. Yeah, using your hands. Apparently, he's pretty effective as a goalkeeper. Yeah, take stock of the group. We are 15 points with Wolfsburg as well, though it's very important that we won this match. Of course, we're ahead in head to head, I guess. From I think from. Yeah, from goal scores or something, I don't know, versus Wolf. Actually, I don't even know, but regardless, we're top of the group, which is all that matters. As we're going to do loads of changes, because, of course, this is Europa League, so we can make as many choices as we want. Uh, choices? We can make as many changes as we want. Let's just get everyone on. Uh, let's literally just make five changes. Why not? Who else? Should we put goalkeeper in? We should. Why not? Michael, you've been, you've been crap. Five changes. Let's get, let's get stuck in. It's like playing a national friendly list. Okay, we're gonna, gonna have last highlights. Mr. Polson wants to be involved. And Polson, Polson, Polson. That is some sweet, sweet Danish name action. And that seems to have done it. Yes, indeed. Three nil. You very happy. Yes, I am actually very happy. I mean, that was a bit of a. Silly goal that they got, but yeah, it can't be too, it can't be too harsh on them. Of course, you now we play West Brom. What is that? Four days, so definitely resting the boys. And then we shall fast forward a little bit because we want to see the draw for the Europa League. I'm right, back for some draw, and I just noticed actually after the match. Well, I guess we didn't see it in game at least. Eriksen actually got four assists and the goal. Pretty darn good from him, right? And then something else interesting, very interesting happened. Where is it? Our youth take preview is here. Uh, uh, 
with an excellent group of players coming through. It sadly doesn't say any about Golden Generation, which would be amazing, but apparently we have a good young Danish goalkeeper from Nerum who has caught the eye, which is, you know, promising, I guess. At least one of our centre backs is promising. Uh, a lot of wingers, well, I guess. Uh, attacking midfield, we should keep a close eye on. All right, let's do that. Well, in four months or whatever, <laughs> you have to wait until they actually arrive, but let's get into some Euro Cup drill. And I assume we are like first seed or something. Uh, so actually, I have no idea how it works. So let's just go through. I mean, that's literally the only one we can't draw, at least. I know that for a fact. Napoli, don't, please don't get Napoli. Uh, FC Copenhagen would be fun, but I don't really. Okay, this is fun. Uh, Lille would be very terrifying, right? <clears throat> what else is there? There's all sorts. Lask, definitely bring those on. Boom. Uh, okay. CSK Moscow, mm, preferably not. Granada, definitely not. Okay, Roma, that's a good one to get rid of. Munich Gladbach, probably not. That's a bit scary. Okay, there's still some pretty good teams in here. Um, Sevilla, Milan, Arsenal, Ajax, Lazio. Red Star, definitely. New Milan, so good for them. St. Gallen, okay, 100% these. Leipzig, okay, well, they're gone too, at least. Young Boys, I do love Young Boys, so yeah, I'll gladly go and touch those. I mean, play those. Uh, Braga. Sivaspor, sure. I live in Turkey. That would be pretty... I mean, of course. I should have guessed. If there's a Turkish team, of course I'm going to get the Turkish team. So, Sivaspor, not too bad. Anything else? Oh, Olympic Minsay versus Sevilla. That's very interesting. And Ajax versus Lazio. So then Slavia Prague versus Zenit. Um, interesting, I guess. Gladbach final, I guess, is a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty much... Straightforward, right? Then you have Marseille, Sevilla, and Ajax, Lazio, like the, the big, big teams meeting. I guess Wolfsburg and Villarreal as well. But other than that, it should be pretty straightforward for a lot of teams, and hopefully us as well. I mean, we play Sivaspor. Of course, I didn't load the Turkish league, so yeah, they they don't actually have any players, which I guess is good for us. So, I mean, they have what four players, thirty-three year old, and uh, this guy Fai Fai Fai, who actually looks pretty decent, but yeah, pretty pretty old. So, um, yeah, well, we're definitely going to show you some Euro Cup action, right? But that is in ages, I think. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure where we're going to. I feel like we need to go explore Lindis Farm at uh, Newcastle. So we'll definitely play that. And then I guess we'll play City as well, actually, because we are going to get absolutely rolled by City. Take a look at the Premier League. So I guess we can say, yes, well, we are sixth. It's all going well. Notice the goal difference, very, very even, and then all of a sudden, what, 27? Manchester City? What's been going on there? Uh, stages. Yeah, they've scored 36 goals. I only conceded 9. To be fair, oh, I thought that was us for a second. What are we? So we have, <laughs> we've scored 25 and conceded 19. That is ridiculously bad. But, yeah. Yeah, not good. So, um, it's gonna be a hammering. Hopefully we can then take it out on Newcastle and hammer them. So it could be a revenge. So yeah, if you like the show, subscribe and like and comment and all that. And then we'll be back for some more Vikings. Well, tomorrow, same time, same place, same, I don't know, same direction, same wind. Till then, Valhalla and Skull and all that.